Now, let's create a cube. Then, move it along the z-axis. Position it near the main cube. Now, go to the vertex selection mode in wireframe view. Then, move these vertices along the y-axis. Go to the front view and select the bottom vertices and scale it along the x-axis. Move that object to the left side corner. Go to this side view and add an edge loop on left side. Select this face and extrude it along the x-axis. Straighten this face by scaling along the x-axis. Add an edge loop. Then, straighten it along the x-axis. Select this object and go to Isolate Mode. Go to Wireframe. Go to Side View and turn on the X-Ray Mode. Select two bottom vertices and scale it along the Y-axis. Go to Solid View. Go to Face Selection Mode. Select this face, go to Side View, and extrude it along the Y-axis. Switch to Wireframe, and straighten this face along the Y-axis. Go to the front view, select the bottom vertices, and slightly move it down along the z-axis. Then, add a new cube. Go to the front view, move it to the left side, along the x-axis. Go to this side view, and move it along the y-axis. Then, move it upwards, along the z-axis. And, scale it. Go to Edit Mode, and select, Top and Bottom Faces. Go to Side View, and scale down the faces, along the z-axis. Now, select the top face. Extrude it slightly along the z-axis and scale it down. Then, again extrude that face along the z-axis.
Repeat the same steps for the bottom face. Now, properly arrange the object at the corner. Use arrow keys for slight adjustments. Duplicate that object along the x-axis. Go to front view and position it properly. Again, duplicate and position it like this. Use random color in viewport shading to differentiate the objects. Duplicate the top object and move it upwards along the Z axis. Then scale it. Now select the top face and move it upwards. Select the front face and move it slightly along the y-axis. Duplicate that object and move it upwards and scale it down slightly. Properly place that object on the previous one. Go to edit mode and add an edge loop at the center of the object. Then move it upwards along the Z axis. Use Ctrl plus R and rotate mouse wheel to add two edges. Then, scale it down along the x-axis. Go to isolate view and select these four faces. Then, extrude it down along the z-axis and scale it along the z-axis adjust its length properly now go to the object mode and position the object properly
Add two edges in the front side to make the square faces. Select the center face and extrude it along the Z-axis. Now select this edge and move it down along the Z-axis. Now, we are scaling all the object, slightly along the x-axis. Add an edge loop in the center. And, move the top edge, along the z-axis. Now, move this vertices, slightly down along the z-axis. will be continued in part 3.